what's up you guys, Shardness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends reveal video on the Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder Korg Build-A-Figure Wave. Try and get your new Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Go oh, right down there, ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to MCU Collector 24 for sharing these images with me right over here. He will have reviews coming up, so check out his channel. I do not have this set coming my way anytime soon. I just saw the leaked images while I was had a gig over the weekend and i was like, oh holy crap and then people are getting them in hand already so yeah uh, very very happy for those that were able to get these in hand because they look pretty sweet and i can't wait to get them myself um not many complaints on my end but anyway uh this is just the artwork for the side of the packaging over here and i wanted to get a closer look at these so let's go ahead and start off with the guardians uh this is the brand new star lord figure I think everything is different with this. I don't think they reused parts here. The design of the suit and everything looks different. They maybe could have reused the legs, but you could see an image, you know, the concept art for Star-Lord right over there. Doesn't look too bad. I can't say I'm like totally thrilled about it. And yeah, the head sculpt looks okay. I feel like it doesn't look dead on Chris Pratt to me, but it, it looks all right. You know what I mean? Maybe they did reuse the head sculpt from an earlier figure, but... As far as the rest of it goes, it does look pretty new. Maybe they reused the legs. We'll find out. Uh, but moving on, we have Teen Groot, which is a reused figure. Apparently, this is going for a lot in the aftermarket. I, I'm not really keeping track of how, how much Teen Groot sells for. But, hey, we get an added branch accessory right over there for the right hand, or either hand, I guess. Uh, but it appears to be for the right hand. And uh, you can see the big old Korg Build-A-Figure piece right over there. And it looks like that gun is supposed to be for Teen Groot. I think so. I could be mistaken, but looks like it's supposed to be for him. Then you can see the Teen Groot right over there on the back of the box. And then you can see we have a close-up image right over here, the Teen Groot figure itself. You know, not a whole lot of new or excitement to look at. Again, oh yeah, he's got the trigger finger sticking out, so that gun is definitely for the Teen Groot. So there you go. All right, moving on to the new figure, we have Ravager Thor. This looks really badass, and it's cool to see Thor's lost all the, all the depression weight and everything from Endgame. He's got the pinless elbows right there. Looks pretty sweet. Then on the back of the box, you can see a nice promo image of Thor wielding Stormbreaker. So that looks pretty sick. I think this is a dope looking figure. I like the design of it and everything too. Uh, very looks, you know, it looks, ha he has Midgard wardrobe with the vest right over here that is definitely all Ravager ravagered out in the burgundy and everything guess the shirt looks like something star Wars would wear too so it's actually all space clothes so space clothes there you go and then moving on we have mighty thor the jane foster thor the thor that i was really looking forward to for this wave because we knew we were going to see it and i'd seen the sh figure arts figure and i really like this design seeing it on this figure right here i like it more so than what i saw with the sh figure arts uh this looks really cool man it looks straight out of the comics to me uh looking on the back of the box you can see uh, her smiling right over there i have no complaints with this man it looks awesome and then looking at the jane foster or the natalie portman head sculpt that looks beautiful i like it, it looks like natalie portman to me I like the hair and everything it's kind of a trip seeing her with the blonde and then there she is with the helmet on and that looks pretty awesome too. And of course she has Mjolnir right there and it's all cracked and stuff. Is this the one that was put back together? I think so. And then we have King Valkyrie and this looks pretty sweet too. I didn't really feel a longing for a new Valkyrie figure. I like the white suited one that I have, but this looks awesome too. It looks like a combination of the two Valkyries put together into one right over here. So she's got the blue cape and the sword and everything. And yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, it looks pretty good. They've They've had the Tessa Thompson uh, likeness down before on the other figures. And she's got pinless double-jointed elbows. I didn't mention that with the Jane Foster, but she has pinless double-jointed elbows too. So it looks like they're using the pinless double-jointed elbows on both of the figures. This isn't the first time I shot this video right here. So <laughs> I did mention the uh, pinless double-jointed elbows on the female figures before. Happy as hell to see it. And then we have Gore, which has gotten, I think, the most negative response that I've seen online saying it doesn't look comic accurate enough uh it's being played by christian bale or the character is being played by christian bale and i think it looks cool for what it is 
I can understand why people are upset with the likeness not looking straight up comic version, but I suspect there's two reasons behind they went with this look right here. One being that if they went straight up comic version, it may look too much like Ebony Maw, confusing viewers. Also, um, Christian Bale's face is going to totally be hidden by CGI stuff or makeup. You know what I mean? This way he has a lot of makeup on there and you can still see his face because it very much looks like Christian Bale to me, right? I think they nailed the likeness. And I like the paint detail. I mean, just as far as the figure goes, I like the sculpted scarring and paint detail on there and everything. So, And the texturing on the robe looks sweet. So I'm looking forward to that figure. Hopefully it's very posable and I could get him into a lot of poses. And then we have the Eric Masterson design for... Or Thor right over here. Uh, this is not looking like it's going to be Eric Masterson character in the movie, but it's definitely that his his Thor design on our Chris Hemsworth Thor, and it looks pretty amazing. I like it. I mean, except with all the golden stuff, and I'm primarily mentioning the helmet. Uh, looking like the Eric Masterson, but yeah, he's got Stormbreaker right there, and it looks pretty awesome. Man, that looks like it's going to be a really dope figure. So I'm excited for that. I didn't give any spoiler warnings or anything like that because this stuff has been already all over the place for the last few days. And, um, yeah, it's it's just everywhere now. But, man, look at all those different colors right there on the armor. I like all the metallics and everything. It looks like it's going to be a very, very cool figure. So, very excited for that one. Uh, but I am not excited for this Korg figure. This is not an image from MCU Collector. I, I, I just pulled this off of a uh, Google search. So, I'm not giving credit to the photographer right here. My apologies. But, yeah, this is uh, not... A build a figure I'm that thrilled about, but there are some cool things going on here. Like from the waist down, it looks like there's a lot of cool designs. It looks like Tooth Nasher right there on his belt, and you know, some nice picked out details and everything. So there are some cool new differences over here. It's just my excitement for getting a Korg build a figure. I'm, I already have a Korg. Maybe getting a Meek build a figure would have been cooler, but I don't know what's going to happen with Meek, you know? But I assume that we're going to see Meek like go full crazy or something like that and do something incredibly badass, but you know, I don't know. That, that would have been cool to get like a cool badass Meek, but I don't know. I don't know what happens in the movie yet. But here's Korg, and I'm, yeah, again, not that huge of a figure, not that thrilled about it, but the fact is, is that the other figures from this wave make me excited. Like, we have really cool uh, looking movie figures over here. And uh, I'm like, the weakest ones to me aren't, aren't even that bad. Like, my least favorite or the one I'm least excited for is the Teen Groot. But we get new accessories with him. So that's cool. And then I guess from there, the Star Lord. But Star Lord looks like it's got a new, not a lot of new stuff going on. Sorry, can't speak. But. All the other figures look pretty awesome to me. You know what I mean? I'm not really bummed out about the whole uh, the gore thing. You know, it, it looks like it's it, it should be cool. I don't mind when they make changes like that. You know, it looks like they have the general premise down for the character. And as long as they stay true to the character, you know, more so than just the details on the face, I think that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be cool for me still, you know what I mean? But I'll wait and see and judge further once I actually watch the movie. But as for now, we just have these figures to look at. And I got to say, for the most part, they look awesome. So I want to know what you guys think. I want to know if you dig these or not. Uh, which one are you looking forward to the most? I think I'm looking forward to the the Thor and Mighty Thor figures the most like those two I'm, I'm absolutely stoked about so let me know what you guys think if you liked the video don't forget to hit that like button on your way out and if you're not subscribed yet wah, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos and i will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.